hi welcome back to my youtube channel and this this is where if you are like either starting out on a career journey you've been in it for a while and just not moving you're looking for a promotion a change something this vlog is tied up in a bow just for you welcome back to my youtube channel this subscribe there's the that cup button there the one with the bell if you click it every time i have a video out you will know thank you so much for engaging the comments every single i get it you know when i meet people who actually follow youtube every time we start with hi flavia i like your youtube hugs <laughs> I'm like that's a community i get it today i want to talk about transitions last week the transition conversation was around just life right when things change but this conversation is really tied to career because if i had known the things that i know now and have applied now i would be far and i'm not saying i never went far but you know you get to a level where you have information you're like where was i why did i not know this so the major career transition that i did in the last vlogs i've mentioned it is pivot to tech now that might seem like what, what what do you mean tech it just sounds like you're adding one word to your career to just make it sound cool right so for a long time i had sort of formulated my work as a communications consultant not just a tv presenter or a radio presenter i had passed that phase and i defined it and actually studied to do that and then there's like maybe a decade ago something happened where media started to get phased out and get phased out by who by tech you know nobody wanted to open a newspaper and read it like our uncles and grandparents and dads now it's an e-paper now you subscribe and get the weekly and get the daily and so they started to phase that out then social media came in which is still a tech innovation that then killed the news because i was reading the news at 9 p.m 9 p.m as in at 2 p.m you go to the news at 4 p.m your boda guy gave you his version of the news then you went and your mom at 6 p.m also gave you her version of the news and by 9 p.m when me the news anchor i'm reading the news I really need to bring a different perspective otherwise you're bored so tech literally pushed out <laughs> media and just took over because now you didn't really need reporters on the ground because everybody was a reporter you pull out your phone you take a picture this has happened at this time and here's the proof so for those who refuse to change you know you can always feel the tide now is taking them out or making them uncomfortable in their jobs so i figured let me go in the direction of the thing that has made my career obsolete which is tech and innovation so the difference is that me i wanted to learn everything like a one-on-one so that's why i went into coding and started to learn all the facets of tech so that in case i want to go to any side i can handle but also because i knew i wanted to be the voice and a communicator in the tech space i needed to know these things you don't want to be part of a team and the developers are talking and you're like mm, do, 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 do. <laughs> you know you know exactly what they're saying so that's why for me i chose tech one and that's two why i chose to go ahead and study everything in tech so the first problem was this in this transition because tech is so good with opportunities i remember hosting the dev summit and uh, one of the gentlemen who's actually the board chairperson for refactory where i studied said he just spoke to somebody who was starting as have a startup and he said i need 350 people right now to hire them right now to run my as in for us to be full and go i need about 300 plus people in this room there's 300 people so if i decide to hire i'll hire the entire room what happens to the next guy who has a startup who is he going to hire so tech was the one place where i'm like there's so many opportunities which will i take so that was a good thing because then it gives you that abundance mindset of there's so many opportunities the disadvantage is that because there's so many opportunities you'll waste your time hmm? you'll waste your time trying ui ux trying to be a back end try you know and which is why mentorship is very important so i got a mentor who's been my mentor for a long time you know she's younger than me guys do you have the humility to be mentored by younger people because for me i'm not mentored by your age i'm mentored by what you know yeah so patricia mumba who has been with me for a long time she's known my career she's been you know working the steps with me she told me you know what flavia let's try ui ux you can google that but it's really design how to make the technology people centric how to design for you the people and i thought that was me 
and I tried that, I tried product management, all that, and after a few months I realized it's not me. So we got my skills that I had from my media time, and we got those 20 years and turned them into tech and innovation. So right now, I am a tech communications consultant, but even the jobs have become specific, that I'm going to moderate conversations on intellectual property, on um, violence online, on innovating for people, innovating for women. Do you see? I'm still doing the job that I was doing in media, but for techies. <laughs> so it, imagine if I'd wasted my time trying to take 10 years studying for something I already had skills for. So find somebody who knows you, knows your CV, and, and if that fails, get somebody who's good in the industry who can help you refine your CV. After you get the mentors, be able to adapt. Because the thing about any season you're going into or any career or any change, even if you're starting the career journey, be able to adapt because the opportunity won't come dressed exactly as you want it. You want to be the director of communications, but you'll start maybe at the bottom. Or you want communications, but you're going to start maybe in design. So you need to be open to taking opportunities as long as the end justifies the means. And the last one, which is probably the most important, which has actually helped me, document document it's like bragging rights everything you do okay this is where i'm going to need you to grow your career like a slay queen tell us what you ate what it tasted like where it was as in, before you drink a glass of juice yeah document every single milestone in your career even if it's so small because the more people see you and know you for something the more the opportunities are clear and they'll come to you if you like for me now in my case if i MC an event i'll be specific on what i emceed what was my strength that day what did i lean into so that you know the next person trying to hire me or give me an opportunity they know i hope this tips were useful if you are going through a career change a transition or even just beginning your career this is important before i wrap i think i didn't mention that networking is important guys i used to be very shy about networking i was very introverted if i'd enter a building and it's like a cocktail everybody's talking to each other i'd be in a corner like once they finish i'll go home i missed out on so many opportunities now i'm more open getting to know the person near me because even if they're not directly into what you want they might know somebody who knows somebody create deep relationships and roots don't say oh, but flavia is not in my industry she doesn't do what i how can she help me maybe i know the ceo where you're trying to go for your interview you never really know so everybody is important and treat them as such in any room you enter everywhere you go you'll be surprised everybody has value give them an opportunity to show you that value okay bye